hey hey welcome if you are new here or welcome back if you have been here before i am freya this is budgie budgets and today is sunday which means we are doing our budget with me our weekly check-in and some cash unstuffing um but first we will start with our little things they don't teach you in school random fact let's have a look um mm. Do identical twins have identical fingerprints? No. Huh. Well, there you go. That's really interesting, actually, isn't it? Because you would think if they're identical, then everything would be identical. That's like the old, like, I feel like on really old cop shows and stuff, I'm sure that's been used as a storyline at some point um, that a twin's been... Um, done for a crime that their sibling did because they had the same fingerprints but obviously they don't so there you go the more you know um okay so we are going to do some unstuffing first of all i've got my little hundred placeholder here because we are taking 100 out of subscriptions so that leaves us with 155 in there now and another 110 of that is going to come out shortly uh, for my Microsoft subscription. This one was for a new um, like health and well-being app that I'm trying that was $60. And also my Google OneDrive storage came out for the year, which is just, um, I think it's $25 for the year. Because um, I've decreased it now because I'm using more iCloud storage instead. Uh, so that's that one. And then we have... What else do we have? Uh, swimming and school. So school is having $30 taken out. That was, I bought some stuff for the kids' lunch boxes and uh, for $20 and my son's got an excursion, a field trip excursion that he's going on. Swimming, everything is coming out because I bought my son some new bathers. Um, so that is that. Um, I need more money for bathers too because my daughter needs, well, both daughters actually need new bathers as well. So, uh, and shoes. I bought myself some new shoes. Uh, so, I need to take out 180. So, we're going to put 20 back. That works, right? Yeah. So, $30 left in shoes. Um, I just needed to replace my white sneakers. I've had them for years and... Um, I finally found other ones that I like that weren't going to break the bank because the ones that I originally had, they were more than $300 and like worth it because really good supportive shoes, but also I didn't want to spend that much on shoes um, at the moment. So I had to find something else that was going to do the job uh, without breaking the bank. Sorry, I like the itchiest nose see. My, um, my allergies are off the charts at the moment. The weather has been really, really nice in Melbourne, which is beautiful. But yeah, there's obviously so much pollen and things around. Uh, so we have unstuffed 200, 400, 450, 470, 480 today, which is a little bit painful, but it is what it is. Um, that's what the money's there for, you know? So uh, let's do our roundup challenge. And we've got $5.17 going in today, which is nice little boost all right let me speed you up and 25 okay that's everything for that one so getting there we're over halfway now which is really nice i'm super keen for this one to finish actually because i want that money back in our account buffer um just so that we've got it there okay and then let's get on to our weekly check-in now we're finally done with september so this is our first weekly check-in for november i need to take these other markers out of here because they're not really doing much all right we'll zoom you in a little bit and let's see how we went groceries you guys we started in the negative 362.42 we added 915 dollars uh we spent 415 
and 16 cents. So we have left over 137 and 42. Um, is that right? That can't be right. Hold on. Oh, it must be like close enough. <laughs> Four, 15, 16. Oh, it is right. Huh. There you go. Um, okay, and then petrol. Now, I did a little sneaky because I was only supposed to add a small amount. I think it was $10 to petrol this week, but I decided to go and fill up and it was so cheap, you guys. It was like a dollar, it was a dollar 60 something. I think it was a dollar 67.9, which is the cheapest I've seen it here in forever. Um, so I wanted to fill up my whole tank. So what I've done, I think what I substituted the money from was, um, I think it was from my rent payment. So I've just switched it around. So this hundred would have been coming in this week and it's not, I've just done a little switcheroo. So at the end of the month, I'll have ended up putting the same amount to petrol. I just changed the timing of it. Um, just because, yeah, I wanted to fill up the whole, the whole tank then and there, which leaves us with 50. Um, because yeah, it wasn't gonna cost me a fortune. Um, takeaway, I feel like I actually have done these. I think I normally do takeaway second, but anyway. It's fine. Uh, we were in the negative seventy nine seventy nine. We put in eighty. We haven't spent anything, so we've got zero dollars left. And then chemist, we had twenty nine. We added ten. I have spent thirty four uh, on my one of my regular medications, so we've got five dollars left in there. So not too bad i mean this is not going to get us a full week of shopping um but that's okay because we're adding money into shopping again today so um like i told you guys i have ended up changing up my budget a little bit um from this i've just been tweaking it and playing with it a little bit more so this is a little bit higher than i initially budgeted for um i've just changed it because i really really want to make sure that we're on top of it um this month and a few extras have been purchased like my daughter's shampoo was due to renew i have that on like a um subscribe and save thing on amazon um and there was something else i can't remember what else it was oh, i think it was like a protein supplement that i take so um yeah i just wanted to make sure i was staying on top of it basically the goal is this month to get in front of groceries that's like my main focus <laughs> for the month so income is 1,296 for this week. We are putting of that just 170 towards our rent. And we are covering the kids swimming. Now I have applied for any of you who are in Victoria. I think I mentioned this last week, but they are actually live now. So the Victorian government does a scheme called Get Active. I think that, I don't know if it's the Queensland government, New South Wales government. I don't know if they all have a similar kind of thing. I have no idea about South Australia or Western Australia. Um, but it's a thing to encourage children to get involved in sport. In Victoria, you can only apply if your child has a healthcare card through Centrelink. Um, so, but they give you $200 towards a sport and you can either get that in a voucher for your selected club if they offer the vouchers or you can get reimbursed so i opt to get reimbursed because obviously as you can see i pay for their swimming each month um and i'll get back 200 dollars per child as long as i as long as you get in before the allocation has been exhausted um so with any luck it usually takes about i think about three weeks um to be processed so i did that application already so they are open now so if you're in victoria and you have a child with a healthcare card get on it it's literally free money like if you, especially if your child already participates in a sport and you're paying for it either way it's free money um so yeah so i should be getting an extra six hundred dollars in at some point probably next month um or towards the end of this month hopefully likely that will probably all or nearly all go towards um clothing um uh yeah our clothing category i think but we'll see how we go we'll see what happens when the money comes in okay so that's all for those so that's totaling uh 490 which leaves us with 806 dollars then groceries 
We are bumping up an extra 240. I'm going to do our big shop today and it will be our big shop for the month. So um, I may go over a little bit what we have, but it'll be covered next week. But I'm hoping it will only be a little bit. I'm hoping it won't be a big deal. Uh, takeaway is getting 51. Just to round out my numbers. Petrol is just getting five just because I want to keep a buffer in there this time around. Chemist is getting 15. Um, what else? Spending for Happy and I, we're getting $10 each. So that's 20 and that's everything for there. So that totals 331, which leaves us with 475. Then my older kids are getting their $10 of pocket money, which is $5 each, which is like for lunch orders, like canteen or whatever they want to do with it. Um, they are allowed to save it if they want to save it. They're allowed to spend it on the canteen if they want to spend it. Um, cash envelopes are getting 335 And then what have we got? We've got mini Mondays, which is getting 30 Savings challenges which is getting 50 and month ahead is being revisited and that is getting 50. I think I will do that this week. I can't decide whether to do it in my mini Mondays video or whether to attach to my savings challenges. I'll see how I go. Um, so in total for cash envelopes, it's our 475 and that's our zero based budget for the week. That's it. Uh, that's all we've got. So um, yeah, as you can see, it was a little bit less going into envelopes this week, um, but also more going in because of month ahead, but that's mostly to make up for my trying to get in front of groceries. Like I said, this is the, that's the main goal for this month is to finish the month ahead on groceries. I am going to introduce a new, I think probably in our life binder, um, I'm going to introduce a new envelope in there called grocery extras. So that will be for things that I completely forget about that I consider part of groceries, like my daughter's shampoo, subscribe and save, which I totally forgot was coming up. Um, we also use Who Gives a Crap um, subscription for toilet paper. And I always forget when that's coming in, but that's $60 here and there. Um, protein supplements for me, things like that, that I suppose a lot of people probably wouldn't consider to be groceries, but I do. Um, so I want to kind of, I'm hoping moving forward that I'm going to be budgeting enough into groceries that I can cover that. And then I'll have another, you know, 10 or $15 a week, just going into this little extras category so that when those things fall, I've got the money there to do it rather than it coming out of our grocery budget and throwing us all out of whack again. Um, so we'll see how that goes. And that's the thing with this system, guys, it's just about little tweaks, um, to make it work for you. And when you can see consistently that something isn't working, like, I mean, we've all seen that consistently my grocery budget is not working. Um, then that's when it's time to evaluate, okay, is this something that I value? Do I need to keep it in my budget? And therefore do I make room for it? Or is this something where I need to get the spending under control, um, so that it fits into my budget? And I think in our case, it's a little bit of both. Um, not that I think, yeah, we don't spend particularly wastefully on groceries, but I think there are areas in which we can definitely improve. Um, so that will be the goal, a two pronged approach to <laughs> incorporate it in our budget. I'm, I, I feel like at this point I would prefer to have a little bit of rollover for that extras category. And then I'll cap that at a certain amount. And then if I have anything else over that, it'll go into savings challenges or whatever, then to consistently be behind and chasing our tail, trying to catch up on that money. So that is what we're going to do. I'm sorry, guys, I'm really breathless this morning. Um, I don't know if it's because I'm, I'm not sure. I like my health is in the toilet at the moment. So it's probably just that, but also I am rushing because my youngest has a birthday party to go to today. Oh, I just realized I didn't unstuff gifts and I need to do that too. Where's that in here? Okay, whoops, we need $20 to come oh, and I don't have it hold on we need $20 to come out of gifts so we need $40 to be left in there there we go we'll do it like that there we go okay uh, just because I bought a present for the little girl whose party she's going to there we go okay now we're done <laughs> Yay. thank you so much for joining me today guys I hope that you 
um, found this helpful or informative or entertaining or all three or one of. <laughs> I will see you tomorrow for mini Mondays. I hope that you can join me then. Have an awesome weekend, guys. Bye.